guys haven't even made it into my office this morning. I just felt inspired to do a morning rant. Uh, beyond frustrated right now with the nature of things that are going on in the industry. I've had eight athletes experience coaching changes this year and as a result have experienced some pretty negative effects. Uh, and I just wanted to really create some awareness and talk about this. You know, I don't feel that athletes are safe in the recruiting process after they've made a commitment anymore. Uh, there's been some things that I would consider unethical. Uh, there's been coaches that have come into programs and have decided to release athletes from their NLI or release them from their verbal and decide to go in another direction. And, you know, there's, there's two sides to this, you know. There's the college coach's perspective where you come in and you may only have a few years on your contract and you have to come in and you have to make improvements to the program and you need to win and it's performance based. It's very cutthroat. Many of these people have families. They're moving across the country. They have loved ones and, you know, it's a big commitment. There's, there's some, you know, crazy expectations of what coaches need to do and I understand that, but then there's the athlete's perspective where once you've made a verbal commitment or you've signed your NLI, you can no longer look for a program. There is no ability to have a backup plan. When you've made your commitment, when you're all in and you've decided that this is where you're going to go to school, then that's it. And so my message to families is that it's excruciatingly important that you build very good relationships with these college coaches as you go through your journey. Because in the event that a new coach comes in and decides to dump your kid, picking up where you left off, being gracious and appreciative and humble throughout your recruiting process is so important and really having your family come alive. You know, so many people get caught up in the email communication. They send out their emails, they send out video updates, and they think that's the process. The process is networking. The process is building relationships with people. The process is becoming human and not just an internet exchange. So I hope that by sharing this with you, it creates some awareness for your family. I hope for the college coaches who may potentially listen to it, you think twice before you know, potentially dumping a kid. And, and listen, I get from your perspective what's going on here. Uh, I understand the sensitivity of, of what you're dealing with. Um, I do think that it sucks that there's you know, some time and there's some pressure and you're supposed to meet these expectations. But I also understand that there's some ethics that are involved here. And I feel bad for the athletes that don't have somebody like myself or Sam, for example, who are out there advocating for our kids. Uh, it's, it's a difficult time. And so I guess I'm disappointed in some of the decisions that have been made and working so much harder to help those athletes who are in this situation. But I want to, you know, bring this topic to light. And I think families need to understand that as you go through this process and once you're committed, you're not really safe. Like, it's not time to take your foot off the, off the gas pedal. Like, you have to keep pushing forward and being, you know, pushing forward to be the best athlete that you can be. You can't let up on any of those things. And not that I ever thought that you should, but I think it's even more important now more than ever that, you know, you handle this process so graciously, so appreciatively, so humbly, so that you do not burn bridges as you make decisions and which direction you feel like is going to be the perfect fit for your athlete. So I hope that I get some questions. I hope that this creates some awareness. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm so passionate about helping kids and helping people find their perfect fit. And I love the relationships that I've built in this industry. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all of, all of the feedback and 
you know, I'd, I'd love to create more conversation about the topic. So thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.